Yo guys, it's Captain Dorf here, and today is the one we've all been waiting for. I'll be predicting the Liverpool FIFA 18 ratings. Oh yes, I'm looking forward to this one. So let's get straight into it. And we have Simon Mignolet. Now I've given him a plus three upgrade to 81. I don't think he's been absolutely brilliant. I still think that we should have bought a new keeper and he should not be the first choice of a club like Liverpool. But to be fair, he's been a lot better than Karius and he'll therefore he'll probably get the upgrade because he is our first choice. Right back, we have Nathaniel Klein. I reckon his rating will stay the same, consistent as ever. Um, he plays good football, he creates chances, he defends well. I can't complain, to be honest. So, another 81 for Nathaniel Klein. Left back, we have the new boy. We have the new signing of Andrew Robertson from Hull City. He was absolutely great at Hull City, and we signed him. £8 million, absolute bargain. I give him a plus three from 75 to 78. I think he deserves that. He can also score as well as defend and create chances. I think he's absolutely he's absolutely brilliant, to be honest. He is underrated, and 78 is the minimum you should be getting. John Matip is next. Now, I think he'll, his rating will stay the same at 83. I don't think he's that good, to be honest. I'm not a huge fan of Matip. Uh, I think 83 maybe even be slightly too high, to be honest. I'd probably give him 82 myself. But I think EA will recognise some of his um, defensive ability. Probably give him about an 83 again. Um, Dejan Lovren, he's awful, to be honest. I, I used to be a big fan of him, but this last season he's been absolutely terrible. I've given him a minus one which is probably the, the least he deserves, to be honest. And I think EA will agree with me there. I think 81 is what Dejan Lovren will get. Moving on, we into midfield. We have CDM, we have Jordan Henderson, the captain. 82, I think he's absolutely exceptional. I think he's really underrated by a lot of people. I think he's worth more than his 82 racing. I think he probably should get at least 84, maybe even 85. It's absolutely sensational. But again, I'm thinking what's going on in EA's minds and they're not going to rate him that high. There's always the battle between Henderson and Wilshire. And if he's being compared to Wilshire, then that's not that good. So I'm only going to give him his 82 back. Next up we have Adam Alana. Again, I'm going to keep his 83 rating. I think 83 is pretty fair. He probably deserves slightly more. EA will probably give him around the 83 mark, which is okay. A centimid um, card and I think he'll be a real, a real um, player for Liverpool this season. Next up, we have Felipe Coutinho. I've given him a can card and then upgrade to 87. He won my player of the year last year. I haven't seen that go on the top 10 players countdown that I made. And he's absolutely exceptional. I mean, I, it was a real shame he tried to snake us when he tried to move to Barcelona on the eve of the, the Premier League season starting. But what a player. He's got to get an upgrade. He will get an upgrade, to be honest. And the official ratings do come out at six o'clock tonight which is at the time recorded in about 20 minutes time so i reckon he'll be getting his 87 just then next up we have sadio Mane on the right wing and um, i'm thinking a plus two to 84 i think that's the least he deserves to be honest after an absolutely brilliant first season at liverpool couldn't have wished for anything more from him and he's been absolutely absolutely brilliant to be honest there's just no more words than that pacey Creates chances, scores goals, brilliant. What's that? All right, next up we have uh, Salah. Now Salah will probably get an upgrade for me, 82 to 83. Maybe even deserves more. I had a lot of special cards last season, and from what I've seen him so far at Liverpool, this pace he uses so well. He is a bit wasteful in front of goal, so um, his shooting isn't that high. But overall, he's, he's just always in the faces of the opposition and causing problems, and he's absolutely brilliant. That's <laughs> with a lot of these players, and let's move on to another brilliant player, Roberto Firmino. He's, he's brilliant. He, sh he should get more than 83, I think, maybe 84 or 85, but um, I think I think he'll keep his 83 rating. For me, yeah, he probably don't recognise the part he has to play, because without Firmino, seeing the runs of those wingers, um, Manny and Sal would not be able to do half of what they can do now. Literally, Firmino is just the piece of the puzzle that needs to be there. And he always gets the runs and plays in Mane and Salah. And then that means that they play even better to the full potential. And it's all thanks to this man, Roberto Firmino. I mean, to be honest, he's our most important player. It's as simple as that. Firmino is our most important player. Not necessarily individually the best, but he is our most important. And to be honest, 
all these players should be getting these pretty good ratings for Liverpool next season. Hopefully EA won't screw us up again, but we'll find out the top 50 players in around 20 minutes time. It's 6 o'clock. And that wraps up this video, so I hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already, like the video, leave a comment, what do you think the ratings will be, and I'll catch you guys later. Adios.